And welcome back to Infinity Park. It's the Sareve Rugby Town Sevens, the second semi shield match between the United States Navy and the Royal Air Force. I'm Brian Bizzard alongside Katie Wurst. And Katie, we had another military battle, but across the pond, we got the U.S. Navy versus the Royal Air Force. And it should be another great tussle here in the shield semi final. Yep, certainly. Looking for the Navy, they finished up yesterday with the loss of Negri Azul, 26 to 7. They're going to be looking to start off strong. Take a look at this lineup. Pony Smith is going to be pushing the tempo with support from Adam D'Amico. On the speed of DJ Dossie, certainly something to take a look at, as well as Owen. A number of great tools here. We'll take a look here at the Spitfires Royal Air Force. Certainly a number of great players. James Challenger has been critical for this team. They've got to keep an eye on Rory Wood. Keep it interesting throughout the match. Certainly some great play from Downsboro as well. And our referee for this contest is Emily Shea. Emily Shea, one of the up and coming refs in this country. She's done a fine job in the first two days here at the Sereve Rugby Town Sevens. Second day of second game of this third day action is underway. A long kickoff, it goes into touch. It went in the field to play first though, but it was not touched at all. So it's going to be a line out to the US Navy. Coached by Steve Lynch, Royal Air Force, coached by Steve Mills. And I'm Brian Vizard alongside of Katie Wurst and get set for a long and glorious day of playoff rugby here at the Sereve Rugby Town Sevens. We are going to crown a champion later in the day. $10,000 goes along with it. Right now we're at the Shield semifinal level. Here's the Navy trying to penetrate the Royal Air Force defense. We'll see him on the outside. Pony Smith, one of the speedsters on this team, and that's Pony Smith right there. Does he have enough gas? Cuts back in, cuts back into the center of the field. Can he make it? He's oh so close. Cuts down five meters short. Oh, look at that. That was a beautiful bounce up for Navy, able to retain possession. It looked like Smith was going to lose possession, but Navy has done well. They're just a meter out now, continuing to put the pressure on. Stay. Now they got some big boys out wide. Looks like Ricky Neal feller. Tackle. Still with Navy, still. Oh, look at that. It just opened wide for DJ Dossie, the big man. DJ Dossie just finishes the job there, but a valiant effort to get there in support. Spitfire's challenging for the ball. Really just a team effort there to keep the ball alive. Yeah, I thought. Uh, Pony Smith did a really good job, this captain of this team, to keep that ball alive when he got tackled. And now here's the finish, Katie. Certainly trying to keep his feet as long as he can. And then Dossie just picks it up, has just the right amount of space he needs, and finishes it up. Yeah, Roy Air Force just a little negligent on that fringe defense. And nicely slotted kick by Ricky Neilfeller. 7 nothing now in favor of the Navy. Good start for them. Neofeller also just hustling down there, just to retain ball. Exceptional work from him. Yeah, it was important. It looked like the Royal Air Force had that defense well. But Ricky Neofeller came to the rescue just in the nick of time. It allowed Navy to continue to recycle possession and finished off by DJ Dossie. Neofeller has some pretty good restart kickoffs. That one just a little bit too deep now. Royal Air Force come away with it. Oh, a little looping pass. Hospital pass, if you will. Oh, they do well, though, to come away with that ball. And I think that's Sam Breeze that bolted down. Not James Challenger, actually. It was number seven. And here comes Royal Air Force trying to spin the ball out wide. They have a gap. They have a gap. Yes, they do. And that's exploited. It looks like Lloyd Owen, one of the speedsters on this Royal Air Force team. So he was going to get a couple of forwards, decided to take a shot, went right through that gap. And we gotta, we're going to have a tie game if this conversion attempt is good. Owen having a bit of time to celebrate there at the end. 
Worked hard for that try. Here's another look at it. He sees that he's got the space. Just steps the defender. Here goes Steve Litch. He's looking at his squad. A little myth probably with that last try that they let up. A little bit too much space in that back line defense. And just a little bit too much speed by Lloyd Owens. If we do have a tie game, that conversion attempt was good. Nice hike again. We've seen some great restarts in this sevens competition. Unfortunately for Navy, that ball hit the turf. Royal Air Force trying to keep up on Tackle, must release, yep. clear release. Did not, not release the tackle player. Very definitely say there was no clear release. Back inside. Tony Smith on the outside. Oh, is that ball four? Yeah. More of a handoff. Forward. right on top of that. Came at it from the wrong angle there. Just got in front. Navy said big boy scrum here. They want a big push. Try to disrupt this Royal Air Force scrum. That's what you'd want to do if you're on defensive scrum. You want to disrupt as much as you can. Make sure they can't get clean possession back. Maybe even a steal. Thank you. Chairs left, okay? Not head to head. This is a pretty critical scrum here as well. Crouch. Bind. Set. Good power in that Navy scrum, but Royal Air Force able to get that ball. Like tackle was still there. Um, Leave it, Dre. Offside. Yeah, not releasing tackle player. There's the try scorer trying to find another seam in these Navy defense. Maybe not back 10. The advantage still being played. They got numbers out here. Gonna spread the field a little bit more and trying that corner. Trying that corner, I think he's gonna make it. Looks like Chad Collins Francois. Did he down that ball? Yes, he did. Collins Francois. One more. He had a little bit of back. He hurt his back a bit yesterday. Looks like he's still getting a little bit of treatment for that. Gingerly getting up. Still holding his back, but had enough speed to turn the corner to give the Royal Air Force the lead. Yeah, certainly paid the price to finish this one off, but here he is getting that step. Fend off, right to the chest. Gets just enough space and gets through. And then a tough tumble towards the end. What a kick. Beautiful conversion, 14 to seven, almost on the sideline. That was a nice conversion to Andrew Byrne with that conversion, 14 to seven. Now, not much time left in this first half of action. The winner goes on to the Shield final. And the loser are done. They're done for the day. Their Sarebe Rugby Town Sevens is over. Another nice high restart. Oh, that was almost obstruction, I think, on Navy. Referee said play on. They'll bundle into touch, bundled into the wall almost. And that's going to be the half. A good half, a good comeback by Royal Air Force. They scored the two late tries to take a 14 to seven halftime lead over the U.S. Navy. The Glendale Raptors Rugby Academy invites you to play fall after school rugby starting September 6th. Girls and boys, kindergarten through eighth grade. Come learn, grow, and develop your rugby skills. Learn more at raptorsacademy.com slash fall. Let's take a really look shut at this them down. Fire. Okay, at the moment we need to keep pushing up, all right? And then fucking keep scanning. At the moment, no, there's no talk on the inside. No one's doing anything, okay? We need to trust each other. Push, push, push. All right, when we've got the ball, let's trust it. Use it. At the moment, we've only done one and we scored, okay? Keep moving it. Move the ball. Tie them out. They've just bunch of fat fuckers, yeah. all right? Keep working, all right? Hey, but it's my bad on that thing, but they fucking graph to get back. All right? It's unbelievable, yeah? Yeah, Jason, right? quality work on that. Yeah. Boys, let's up this. Let's up this. Let's put them to bed. They We've do not score. Left here, boys. Got yeah. loads yeah. Another gear, boys. Yeah, We're not blowing. Boys. We're not blowing. Boys, we keep the changes as are, all right? The hands in. Let's go. Navy coach Steve Lynch, a little more animation on his side. You heard Roy Wood, the skipper of Royal Air Force, he was saying, let's just keep continue to work, continue to concentrate, and they don't score. Take, take a 
take a look here. A lot of physicality here. And this was a great one where he just picked it up as DJ, DJ Dossi to finish it. Royal Air Force answers as well, too. And that was Lloyd Owens just finding the space between the two Navy defenders. And then one more go of it from Royal Air Force as well. Final finisher, this was Collins Francois. He gets the ball down to the ground. Comes up a bit lame on that one though. And second half coverage is about to begin. We're trailing 14 to seven. It's the US Navy that's gonna be kicking off. Going left to right. Royal Air Force gonna try to regather this restart. Another nice high kick. It stays in the field of play, and it's going to bounce into touch. No one touched that, so it will be a Royal Air Force throw in. Line out set. Thank you. Blue line out. I got fine. So they like James. the conversation at halftime, too, for the Air Force. Talk about trusting each other. It seems to be working for them. Bad throw that time by Chad, the challenger. Not even close. So oh, that ball went backwards on that deflection. Referee said play on inside the 22, now just outside, came back. Trying to find a little gap, and it's Neil Feller. Sees more space out wide here. Lamascus. Royal Air Force defense bunched up. Can they spin it wide? Can they get it wide? Pony Smith, nope, back inside. That was Bryant Pryor, a halftime substitution. High tackle is the call, so here's Navy with a chance Around to the neck. get the equalizer. Trying to get that ball out wide now. D'Amico gets it out to Pony Smith. Pony Smith staying on his feet inside the 22 meter line. Navy's gonna come away with this. Looks like it's well defensed by Royal Air Force. Oh, they put the big boy. Just sent him straight ahead, trying to create a gap. Master. No gap was created, but the full bar penalty was. And maybe continuing to put the pressure on. They got Pony Smith on the outside here. They come back the other way, though. Good driving tackle by Royal Air Force. Now they're trying to keep him up in the tackle. Oh, did he get the knee down? Oh, he did not get the knee down, according to Emily Shea. She said it wasn't down, so it's going to be a turnover ball. Maybe on the highlights, on the replay, we can see if that knee was down. Sure. Time off. Sub. Number nine. Yeah, yeah. tough one there. Liz. Number six. Yeah. Yeah, Emily Shea, she's done a great job. Yeah, it's not an easy job out there. Good with subs. Yeah, Pressure. certainly a lot of physicality in that play. A lot of things to be looking at. Blue scrum, let's have it. Blue, let's play. That's oh, a big call, though. Navy off. were penetrating. Okay. Still inside the 22. The pressure's still on. They got a good, powerful scrum. They tried to disrupt it last time. Crutch. The Royal Air Force had to put in. Let's see if they have better luck here. Still trying to find Set. that equalizer. 14 to 7 is the score. Use it. Put it in, Blue. Push a little early. Good pressure. Royal Air Force do well, though, to get it out of trouble. And again, another seam in the line. Little kick ahead. Good time. And is it gonna stay in the field of play? Oh, they're still bouncing around. They are in the field of play. Now it's gonna be a penalty or a turnover of some sort. Nope. Right. Navy did well. <laughs> Navy did well, though. I thought for sure it was gonna be a turnover ball, Katie, but they did well to reclaim it. And then they drove the Royal Air Force into touch, so it will be their lineup. A lot of great hustle there on that play, just making that little kick chip ahead to relieve some of the pressure. It just bounces, just skirts around by the line there. Trying to get to his feet, looking for help. Nice take in that line by Adam D'Amico. He's the smallest guy, but they get him up high in that line out lift. Oh, oh boy, quickly recycled by Royal Air Force. Oh, good support inside. I'll take that inside pass to score our third try. Just turnover ball by the Navy. Went right in the hands of Royal Air Force. That was a tough one there, but Ewan Davies is the benefactor. Just scooped up that ball that was dropped. Take another look at it here. Gets his hands on it right away. 
And a nice outlet pass. Just 10 seconds now. Instant replays are brought to you by Alpha Graphics. Increase your reach with marketing and print services from Alpha Graphics, agdigitaldenver.com. Conversion no good, so Spitfires leading now 19 to 7. Turnover ball, we can, we've seen it so often in the weekend when you have a turnover ball, the other team can strike so quickly, and that's exactly what Royal Air Force did on that occasion. Certainly a testament to the level of play here at Surrey Rugby Town 7s. Any mistakes can convert right away into try scored. D'Amico just taps it back right to Sam Breeze, and the big prop rumbles over for a try. That's the danger of tap ball on a restart. Adam D'Amico, the smallest guy, he did not want to, he didn't think he could contend. He just tapped it back, but it bounced right in the hands of Sam Breeze. As gift try as he's the big man just sauntered in for another quick strike by the Spitfires. Who doesn't love this hustle play here by Breeze? Just getting involved, the big man. The ball bounces right into his hands. Well rewarded for that extra effort. Hey, we got some subs coming in now. The Spitfires are going to continue play if they hang on to this 26-7 lead, which looks pretty good. A safe bet. There's only about a minute and a half left, so we are seeing some subs. They're going to be playing in that shield final. Navy looks like they've played their last game of the Sereve Rugby Town Sevens, but want to thank them for their service and all the servicemen around the world and, of course, and those in the U.S. Royal Air Force get that ball back. Maybe trying to add one more tally here. Some fresh legs. Looked like Andrew Byrne got the bounce. Oh, was that four? Yeah, referee said play on. Looked a little forward almost. But Emily Shea, she said no, good to me. Very tough effort there by Byrne just to handle the ball in air and flip it out. Steven Parker got it down and tried to pull it for the Royal Air Force. Yeah, you could argue that one was flat too. Looks like his elbows got back down. Yeah, he'll take stuff like that sometimes. Oh man, another beautiful conversion. 33 to 7 is the score now. Yeah. Go ahead and earn the seat after that one. Andrew Bird. After he orchestrated that beautiful effort there to get the offload pass to set up that try. This day is done. And time for one more kick. Playing the man. Uh, playing the man without yeah, the ball. So upright rugby road, what are they gonna do here? They can kick it straight into touch. Rory Wood, he wants more. He wants more. We're gonna play in the final here in a bit. Uh, now they yes, <laughs> kick it to touch. So Rory Wood could have done that, but he wanted somebody else to do the honors. So that's gonna do it, folks. Another one-sided match here in this Shield semifinal. It's the Royal Air Force coming out on top over the United States Navy, 33 to seven. Coming up next is a semifinal bowl match between Rugby Utah and the Black Dragons.